everyone, it's me again, the Grey Man, back to react to another trailer. Uh, I've just saw, seen this on Facebook and I thought that looks interesting. It's called Talk To Me. Uh, I believe it's coming out soon or it's out now. Uh, to be honest, I'm not even sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, so this is the whole, the whole point. I don't like do any research. I just literally react to what I see for the first time with as little knowledge, foreknowledge as possible. Just to you know, get an honest reaction out of it. So let's just crack straight on with Talk To Me. I believe it's a horror. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Huh? No. Please. My mom's remembrance day. I just want to forget about it. Huh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. I'll do it. Cannot go for more than 90 seconds. Am I clear? What happens after 90 seconds? <laughs> okay. Well, it's, uh weird and interesting i've no idea what's going on there's obviously a hint of menace provided by the music but the the setting looks like it shouldn't be uh menacing it's like a few, few bunch of people around having a little bit of a party maybe doing some kind of dare game by the looks of it but um there's that hand there on the table like a i'm guessing that's got to do with it but i got to hold the hand for up to 90 seconds but not longer something happens after 90 seconds it drag you into a dimension of hell or something um i have no idea but in the little um uh, what do we call it a caption there's like there was like a hand that kind of went like that like in the like a logo but has that got a, a clue to what happens if with this film maybe i don't know a24 i think it was and the two was like in the shape of a hand it went like that and and it kind of looked like the hand that's there on the table now. So I'm not sure if that was a, a nod towards what happens in this movie. But let's just carry on. Um, hmm. They want to stay. They want to stay. Light the candle to open the door. Okay. Blow it out to close it. So we got comes. It's sort of like a, a feeling of a ritual or some kind of séance about it. Um, a bunch of young people messing with uh, mystical stuff. It never, it never ends well when it comes to horror movie settings. I must say, it never ends positively. Uh, don't invite things into the world that uh, you're better off not hanging out with. That's all I can say. <laughs> what's gonna happen something's gonna happen obviously it's quite um yeah it's quite an intriguing and as i said it's um yeah quite a tense kind of uh atmosphere going on it's uh it's, yeah let's just crack on i want to see what's gonna happen she's gonna get her arm ripped off or ghosts gonna come into the world or demons oh they're all filming it that's it. kids nowadays there you go now oh. say Talk to me. Talk to me. Alright, so that's the actual story of the, uh, you know, the name. I wonder when someone was going to ask to talk to you, but how do you talk to you? It's just a hand. Just, do you hear it in your head, or would they actually hear a voice? No story behind it. Like, where did this artifact come from? Or anything like that. Let's carry on. We've got a timer. Can't be more than 90 seconds. Talk to me. Don't mess with whatever's there. It's obviously got some kind of, uh, has some kind of effect on you. I don't know, maybe, uh, I don't know what how you'd call it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> a lot of an addictive effect or an effect of you, there's something possibly there that you want. Um, yeah, it's uh, obviously enticing her. And she's still thinking about whatever where she felt when she held the hand. Uh, is it some kind of corrupting effect? Is it lying to her? She said she could feel her mum, but was that just something pretending to be her mum? I mean, my mum passed nearly 10 years ago now. I don't think I'd do anything to try and summon her, much as I love her and don't think she would ever have do anything to hurt me. But I wouldn't like to think of, uh, you know, 
not that I believe there's any kind of afterlife anyway, but I just the thought of like, if, if there was, and I did believe, and I could talk to someone in the afterlife, I don't think I'd want to, because it's like, you know, that's, that's beyond, you know, that's the next stage, if there is a next stage, you don't need to find out about it while, you know, life is for living, life is for the people who are alive, don't drag anything from uh, the other side of, you know, of the veil of death into this world, because, yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm in favour of the separation of life, life and death, <laughs> let's put it that way, <laughs> right, um, uh, yeah, let's carry on. Yep. Still been saying stuff. You mean saying stuff? Did she go more than ninety seconds? Is that what happened? Is that why it's uh, it's got into her head more? Um, yeah, it's an interesting concept. Like it's not like they've obviously invented this hand holding thing and this ritual because I've never heard of that in in, re in real life. Um, yeah, you heard people doing Ouija boards. It's like it's, it's like an update your Ouija board, isn't it? Really. Could just have easily done the same premise with an Ouija board, I would have thought. But um, mm, she's sort of seen things and heard things whilst holding the hand, I guess. As well as the, obviously has you know real effects. You can see the door being slammed and lights going off and stuff like that. So no wonder, yeah, I wouldn't mess it up. <laughs> Who come up with the ninety second rule as well? Who actually held its hand for more than ninety seconds to find out what happened or to get an idea that it's not a good thing to do? Um, yeah, lots of questions. Um, but yeah, we don't really need to push the questions too diff too hard. You know, don't don't overthink it. Just like just enjoy what do what you see happening. You know. What if we open the door but we didn't shut it? A terrifying horror breakout. Oh Go straight for the juggler. I like Skin crawling stop. demonic horror. Was that a wallaby? <laughs> Was that a wallaby? I've never really thought of uh, wallabies uh, being particularly demonic or scary. That was a bit of a weird one. It's like, are they a marsupial? A marsupial somehow connected to devilry? I don't know. I don't know. That was a bit of a weird one. But um, yeah, it's okay. They've, they've, yeah, they've let things in from the other side. They, they went too long, or they, they, you know, they pushed the buttons of the demons by holding the hand and doing the ritual, and now they're all gonna be in trouble. So, I suppose the spirits are coming from the other side, and I don't know. <sighs> It must be demons, you know. It's got to be demons. It says demonic. You know, because I don't see any reasons that ghosts would want to kill people. Because, they, you know, unless they're jealous of the living or they hate the living because they are no longer alive. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it looks kind of... Um, it's not bad. It's kind of... It's a it's a it's a well worn trope, isn't it? This kind of demons from the other side. Normally, they've done it with a Ouija board. The only difference is this time they've done it with a hand. Uh, <laughs> they've come up with something slightly different, but it's it's the same take. But anyway, <laughs> twisted and sinister. Oh, she got big eyes. I like you. Oh, talk to me. July the 28th. All right, so that's going to be in theatres. Yeah, it looked all right. It looked pretty decent. Um, reasonably good budget. I uh, didn't see an awful lot of, like, gore or... Um, there was lots of suggestions that she was somehow being affected by whatever was going on, but I didn't see... There was no kind of, like... She looked a bit, uh, g bit gaunt and a little bit... Um, Dishevelled, like whatever it was, maybe affecting her sleep or maybe sort of affecting her health in some way. But I, I mean, I don't remember seeing any sort of overtly overt signs of um, the demons harming people. Was there any? Was there any bits there where someone was being killed by a demon? There was lots of like creepy music and uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. If, uh, I feel like I need to watch it again now. But I can't remember seeing anything where like oh, demons are killing people, demons are claiming souls. I think it's just more one of those one of those creepy ones that got that stays creepy all the way through. And there's probably some kind of horrible ending. It's like oh, it's ominous throughout, and I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of uh, denouement that leads to devils and demons desiring your 
derriere <laughs> i'm trying to be alliterative there for no really apparent reason but uh yeah yeah it looks, looks very decent i wouldn't go to the cinema for it i wouldn't i wouldn't bother paying money for it i'd, I'd watch it when it comes out uh, on a streaming service i say that's practically every single film that i, wa- that I talk about because uh yeah reasons i'm skin i can't go to the cinema but um yeah uh yeah it looks all right they look decent but it didn't look like there was nothing about it that made me go, oh, yes, really, really got me excited. But it just generally looked like a fairly decent movie. Um, yeah, could well be worth a watch. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, what did you think of the trailer? Let me have uh, your reaction or about my reactions in the comments down below. And if you want to see more reactions from me, do give us a sub up. And if you feel like it, give me the old thumbs up. Ooh, and uh, I'll be doing more reactions again in the future. Thanks for watching.